Raw Maths Challenge number one. In these videos I'm going to be showing you questions taken from the United Kingdom Maths Trust UK Maths Challenges uh, which are set at three different levels, junior, intermediate and senior. The junior level is aimed at students in year 8 and below, so that's the year that you're 13 and below. Intermediate is aimed at the years 9 through to 11, which is anybody up to the age of 16. And senior is uh, aimed at students from years 12 to 13, so that's anybody under the age of 19. Of course that doesn't stop you from attempting any of these questions, regardless of your age. It's always nice to try to go at uh, harder questions, and sometimes it's even nice to have a go at easier questions. I should also mention that these questions are designed to be done with just a pencil and a piece of paper. No calculators, no measuring devices, no rulers, no protractors, and such. In these videos I'm going to be showing you two sections. We've got the warm-up section, which I'm going to do the answers to the questions in the video that you're watching now, and then there's the tricksy section which are questions I'm going to leave for you to try before the next video. The questions I selected for this video are all on the topic of number. This is where you should pause the video and have a look at these questions before I go through any solutions. So let's have a look at the junior warm-up. We are given a couple of examples. The word 30 contains six letters and six equals 30 divided by 5 and similarly for the word 40 has five letters and five is 40 divided by eight. So we'll start with six. Six has three letters and six is in the three times table so therefore it's multiple. Twelve has one, two, three, four, five, six letters and twelve is multiple of six. Eighteen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But eighteen is not a multiple of eight. So once we've got there we can stop and our answer is C. We could do the other two but there's no need. OK, the intermediate warm-up. Four of these numbers can, we make, can make two pairs, so each pair adds up to 98,765. Which number is the odd one out? Now, you might be tempted just to go straight and start adding, um, but there's often a quick way to eliminate, eliminate some of the possibilities. And one of these is to start with looking at the last digit, 5. So which combinations could add up to 5? Well, we could have a 3 and one of the 2s, so those one of those two could add to the 3, or we could have the 8 and the 7, because 8 and 7 makes 15. That will then go on to leave a 5 on the end. So these two combine together. Now, as are the only two that can combine, they must be OK. Now, that leaves us with the 3 and the 2, 2. So the, the 3 must be OK, and we've got to combine it with one of these two. So which one is it going to be? And as the second digit is a 6, when we add the 3 and the 2, that makes 5, so the 7 and 9 make 16, that's, so that's OK. Um, and the 7 and 8 makes 15, so that doesn't work. So that is the 1, which is the odd 1 out, E. OK, in the senior warm-up, um, you might be tempted, you senior people, to, to start off by going X, X plus 1, X plus 2, and so on. But it's actually much better if we're going to add these five numbers to start off with x minus 2, x minus 1, x, x plus 1, and x plus 2, because when we add all those five things up, because we want um, the sum of the sequence of five numbers, then we add these five up, we actually just get 5x, and that makes it a lot easier to divide into 200, uh, 2005. So we do 2005 divided by 5, and that gives us 401. So our middle number is 401, this number is 400, this is 399, and we clearly have the answer B as 400. And now for the tricksy questions. Now these questions I'm going to leave with you until the next video, where I'll explain them in detail. And um, the best way to find out when the next video comes out is to subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be notified when the new video is out. So until then, good luck with trying to find the solutions to these questions.